Welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna to be trying to build a walker in one minute five minutes and then 30 minutes to see what kind of difference in quality these machines will have given how much time I was able to put into them so you may be wondering if I'm even gonna be able to build a walker in one minute and to be honest me too but uh, I think I know how I can build a super basic walker like super super basic in just 60 seconds I'm hoping I can get all the controls down all right let's get one minute on the clock gonna have 60 seconds to build as functional of a walker as I'm gonna be able to build three two one begin all right I'm gonna build it make sure it's five wide so I can fit this uh odd number seat on it uh, put that down it's not gonna be completely symmetrical Get this back centered on a lift. All right, now I'm gonna start with this side. Ah, put that down, put that down. Okay, we're like 20 seconds in already. And put that down, you put that down. Oh no, this is not gonna go well. Oh, uh, this is not gonna go well as well as I hope. No, no, we're gonna have to go super, super basic. I gotta hook stuff up and program things. We have 27 seconds left. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay, everything needs to go in that direction. That's gonna hook up to there. This is gonna go, I don't know what speed. We need all of these to go forward and looping. We got like 15 seconds left. Okay, um, let me see where we're at now. Oh no, uh, these, uh, I don't know, like that? Yeah, okay. All right, two, one, and time is up. I have no idea if this is even gonna function, but hopefully I have the most basic of walkers here. I'm gonna get in the seat and press W and we're gonna see what happens. And three, two, one, please walk. This is so stupid. This is 60, it's a 60 second walker though. I, I honestly, when I first thought about doing this challenge, I didn't think it was gonna be possible to build anything resembling a walker in 60 seconds. And I gotta be honest, it walks. Can we turn? No. There's definitely no turning involved, but it is walking. Sometimes walking is just, you know, just going straight. One foot in front of the other. You know, now that I'm looking at it a little bit closer, this might be more like dragging than walking. Just looks like an injured animal, to be honest. It's kind of sad to look at. All right, let's just, let's put this thing away. There we go. One minute walker. What a beautiful creature you are. All right, let's get five minutes on the clock now. So we're going to have five times the amount of time to put into this walker, but is it going to be enough to make it significantly better? Because I have an idea of what I want to do, but it's a lot more complicated, and I don't know if it's within five minutes complicated or over five minutes complicated, but I guess there's gonna be one way to find out. There's a chance this could end up worse because I just won't finish. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. Five minutes are on the clock. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, already off to a kind of bad start. Um, let's put this in the middle, another controller. Okay, so for this one, I want it, I want it to be able to steer actually. Um, but hold on, let me, ah, I'm pressing things I don't want to press right now. I'm panicking because I don't have a lot of time. All right, that's one, two, three. Let's do that. One, two, you know what? No, I'm going to have, I don't know. I don't know how to start this. All right, let's just hope for the best. There we go. And I wanted to do six legs, but I don't know about turning. Where's the controller? There's a controller. Okay, I'm just going to put. I need more, I need space. I need space for these legs to be able to go in between each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be funny enough. These are only three blocks. I, I want to make sure the legs don't collide with each other. All right, there's that. Now I got to do the same thing. Oh, I'm already more than a minute in. I don't know if I'm going to finish this one. I think I may have went too far with the controls, but let's see what we have by the end of this. I'm just going to start hooking stuff up. There's, you know what? I don't know how to hook it up though. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Um, and then we're gonna have this thing steer. It's gonna steer from there. I should have built this out of a lighter material maybe. And then this is gonna be the back section. Is that symmetrical? All right, looks good so far. And then this is gonna have its own set of legs. See, I, I think I bit off a little bit way too much here for this uh, five minute walker. Okay, all right, there's all the legs. 
Uh, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. Oh, that's not enough connections for a single controller. All right, so one, two, and then three and four. Ah, this is so hard. Okay, I need to make sure. All right, so those are going forward, backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards. These are going forward, backwards, so I gotta do these ones. All right, so I gotta make sure that the top and the bottom of each section is rotating opposite each other. Let's hook that in, because um, then we're gonna have them all just rotate 360 degrees on a loop. Um, there we go, mid speed. Same thing here, mid speed loop. 360, 360, 360, 360. I got two minutes left to try to program all of these to do the right things. Oh, and hook up the steering too. Steering to the right, steering to the left. There we go. All right, so right now they all go together. So I got to program them to be... Uh, all right, so three and four have to start 180 degrees. Three and four. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then five and six have to start opposite. So five and six. Good. And then one and two over here have to start opposite because we need all the legs to be like in between... All right, is that, we have a minute and a half left. Oh, the programming went way quicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna feel way more complicated. Can I turn? Oh no, okay, all right, see, this is what the testing's for. I just have a minute and a half to make this thing not bad. It's not terrible right now. I can actually probably go a little bit faster. Oh, that ruins the controllers for a minute. Hold on, ah, what did I do? There we go. All right, I still have a minute left. This is not bad. This is going better than expected. All right. Um, so now can I turn? Oh, the traction. All right, I need better traction. Where's my uh, Where's my cactus? No, I, there's a better traction block. Where is it? Where is it? Concrete slab block has even more tra or more friction than the cactus. So I will just add that. You know what? Let's just add a flatter. We'll do three blocks on each. I got 40 seconds. I think I have time to do this. All right. There we go. Now it's like little feet instead of just pegs. There we go. And you know what? I'll even add wedges here because, uh, wedge gang. There we go. All right. Oh, that's a little... Wait, why is... How did that go through the ground? We'll just step out of the ground. Thank you. There we go. Oh, we're bouncy. We're too fast now. It bounces. So we need to find a better speed. Let's go. Let's, I'm just going to go back down to the speed we had before. It was safe. Nine seconds, ah! All right, well, I guess we better hope this works. I think it's working, but as well as, and time is up. All right, uh, so this, <laughs> it doesn't look much better, but functionally, I think it is a way more of a walker. So this is five minutes put into a walker now, and it does have turning capabilities. I mean, it's gonna take quite a while, I was gonna say, let me walk back to uh, where we left our other vehicle, but honestly, I think that might take another five minutes. It's just an extremely inefficient way to get around. But we didn't completely fail. It is actually an improvement over the one minute walker. Look at this beauty. All right, one minute, five minutes. Now it's time to actually put some real effort into a walker and see if we can get more than just super basic functionality. And uh, hopefully it's something that's gonna turn out to be kind of cool. Okay, I've been thinking through this 30-minute walker, and I think I'm gonna make it an eight-legged walker to have the most stability, I guess. The guaranteed stability, and then I'll also be able to make it symmetrical with its turning point. I'm gonna have a similar turning point in the middle, um, but I'm gonna do a slightly more complex, a slightly more complex walking mechanism that's hopefully gonna make it a little bit smoother of a walk instead of just the, um, you know, notice my character just kind of like bounces up and down as these legs rotate. I'm not gonna be going so far to do one of those like strand beast crazy walking mechanisms because I, I thought that'll, that'll take me like a half hour just to build one leg. <laughs> Let's get 30 minutes on the clock. Gonna have plenty of time to think about this one and hopefully not mess anything up. Here we go in three, two, one, begin. All right, 30 minutes to build a better walker than my five minute one. Doesn't seem like that big of a challenge because it's six times, six times the amount of time, right? One, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I still want it to be odd width, uh, maybe nine though. This one might need to be a little bit wider. 
Uh, this is gonna be a big one, I'm just realizing. The type of mechanism I wanna build is a lot more complicated. I have built it before, uh, maybe in Trail Makers, but let me see if I can just build one and then get into the habit here. So it's gonna rotate around here. Maybe I'll have it three blocks long. And then we're going to attach from there and go up like that. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then from there, we put another joint. Is that too big? I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit too big. I don't think I need to go that big. Let's go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. I don't know if there's like a certain mathematical formula that makes this leg ideal, but this right here, that is the leg. And then I want to put suspension off of that piece, and then we can essentially have the foot down here. I'll go like one, two, three, and then a foot. All right, uh, now let me do a quick test. All right, so I should only have to power a single- Ah! I should only have to power a s single bearing, set it to 360 degrees looping, and now we should hopefully see this thing do a walking motion. Here we go. No, other way. Other way, thank you. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it's working as intended. So what this should create is more of an oval shape rather than just an outright circle shape because a circle shape will give our character the most bouncy ride. Um, but an oval shape will be a little bit less bouncy. Not ideal because it's still rounded on the bottom, but it should be better than what we've had. So now I got to do this seven more times, which is why I, I'm using the 30 minute build for this. Right here should be fine, right? All right, so the fun thing about this is each leg only has one powered bearing. So programming wise, I think it's way simpler, but building it wise, the mechanism itself is definitely a little bit more complex, but um, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I really do seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't even like, I didn't even pay attention to that one. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I think I have all that hooked up the way it needs to go. So here we go again, just putting the suspension on there and down to the foot. So that's two legs down. All right, how's this looking? All right, it's looking good. Obviously, we're gonna have to stagger them as far as um, they're starting, how they start, but I think this is good so far. All right, so now I gotta do the same thing mirrored on this side. Okay, does this even stand on its own? All right, a little, little almost back heavy. I could just even that out a little bit real quick just for testing purposes. And everything should just go at the same time. It'll look kind of weird. That is definitely kind of weird. <laughs> All right, now let's see if I can get this thing to walk as like a four-legged walker, but four legs aren't gonna have a lot of support in between. Uh, so I'm gonna have to have four and two be opposite of each other. So 180, 180. So this is why I wanna do eight legs instead of four. Um, but that looks interesting for a starting point, doesn't it? Yeah, th 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 this is definitely why I wanna do eight legs instead of four. We're gonna have so much more support in between the steps. This one just doesn't have that support, but it's looking like the motion is what we want. I also have suspension on this thing, which is hopefully gonna eventually be an improvement. I gotta set the suspension settings though, but still got 22 minutes left. I'm gonna create this angle right here. So I want the backside to also have an angle so they can kind of like go 45 degrees with each other. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a double bearing setup here. So there we go. So these two bearings are gonna rotate this center block. All right, yeah, so now they're both working together. So with both of those bearings contributing to steering, it should be much stronger than just a single bearing. And hopefully it's gonna be able to support the weight of whatever I've just built. Oh, I forgot I wanted to duplicate this section. Okay, well, now I gotta delete everything I just did on the duplicate. Uh, well, not everything. Actually, this is not a lot at all. I can just do this. All right, now let's see how this goes. This is gonna be a little sketch, but if I weld this right there, is this symmetrical? This better be symmetrical. I can delete that seat. I guess I just hook that controller into it. And then I just gotta reverse the directions of all of these bearings. All right, now let's see. Let's see how this feels. Oh man, I just realized, look at how close the feet are to actually interse intersecting. I almost didn't even realize I messed up the distances. They're perfect, unintentionally perfect. And this thing feels pretty smooth. 
but uh, our suspension is completely compressing, so I feel like they're not doing as much as they could be doing. Let me figure out how much... Oh, there we go. Yeah, now we're starting to get some resistance from the suspension. How does that feel now? Oh, look at this. This looks like some kind of Dr. Seuss vehicle or something. All right, and what about turning? Oh, I can do more than 45 degrees. I can do 90 degrees. All right, how's 90 look? Ah! <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should turn a little bit slower than that. <laughs> All right, there we go. That feels... Wait, that does not seem... Is this functional? Oh my goodness, it's like a... What? And look how close the feet at the middle... That's crazy. Okay, so this is pretty much uh, bare minimum functionality of what I was looking for. Now, one of the things I was gonna say, I have 15 minutes to actually like, I can paint this thing up. I can try to make it look a little bit better. There's not a whole lot of room for uh, adding aesthetics because they might get in the way of the mechanisms. But I wanted to see if I could actually stagger the legs even more. Cause right now they are all just opposite of each other. But what if some were 90, you know? Yeah, there we go. So now you can actually see each step of the, literally each step of the way. All right, how's this look? I feel flat. Oh, that feels so good. This feels so smooth. Look at how flat we're staying. Oh, that is satisfying to watch. It almost looks like I'm floating. It's so weird. And you know what? I'm realizing the feet could probably actually be adjusted. I got 13 minutes. Okay, hold on. Let me just paint this thing up a little bit first. All right, I gotta be honest, these legs are a lot more time consuming to paint than I was expecting. <laughs> they just have so many individual parts that you just can't paint the whole thing at once. All right, um, I also wanted to, I don't like the blocky flat look of the back here. So I kind of just wanted to do a little bit of this. Don't ask me why, I just, I felt like doing that, okay? There we go. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing on the front. This thing isn't gonna look amazing, okay? All right, I got nine and a half minutes left. We'll see what I can do with that. So for the feet, I'm just noticing, look at the way that the feet uh, come in contact with the ground. So they're just kind of like awkward. Wait, why does this feel different? Why does this feel worse all of a sudden? What changed? Was it these? Did adding these really? I'm just gonna undo what I just did. That was it. It was the weight distribution. The weight distribution matters that much. Okay. Oh, I didn't test out turning with these, this new leg format. Okay, clearly 90 degrees is way too much now. How does 60 feel? Not great, to be honest. It's trying. It can still flatten itself back out. All right, now let's uh, let's work on the actual, the where we're stepping. What's the friction like on these? That has okay friction. They're all the, oh. Oh, that's interesting. These wedges have more friction than these wedges. They are not created equal. Even though this one has like treading on it, somehow this flat, smooth looking one has more friction. All right, so I'm just gonna turn each of these uh, feet into this. All right, does that feel different? Does this feel better? Please feel better. All right, it doesn't look as better. It doesn't look much better than I was expecting, but it still looks good. I think this is a good walker so far. I'm afraid to make any other changes to this thing though. I have four and a half minutes left still. Oh, speed adjustments. We never tried different speeds. But it, it's so smooth right now, and I already saw what happens when I add weight to this thing. But let's go ahead and find our maximum speed. All right, you know, let's just, I'm just gonna, just for fun. I have, I, have, I have time to mess around. Let's go to literally max speed. Wait, 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 stop, stop it. No, stop doing, look at that. It's like hopping. All right, let me get on the, in the seat first. Don't just run off on me like that. All right, here we go. This is actually good at fast speeds. Look at how smooth it is! All right, ready for the turn? This is where it's all gonna mess up. You know, I think it's just, I don't, I just don't think it needs to turn that sharp. All right, I'm like literally getting mesmerized by just watching the patterns of all the legs. All right, we still got two minutes left. I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I finished early this time. This is one of the first times that I wasn't like building to the very end. Cause I honestly think that it's a higher chance that I'll make this thing worse if I change anything with it. It's just that kind of build right now. Oh, this is a cool view too. All right, I'm gonna walk my way back to uh, to the other two builds and let's just do a side-by-side -side comparison. I still got a minute left, but um, I'm calling the timer right now. All right, here we are. Look at these pathetic little creatures. 
This is like the evolution of man poster, but it's the evolution of walker. 10,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, modern walkers. Well, I mean, if we're being realistic, this is still in its infancy of evolution compared to, you know, if we're gonna talk about like a Boston Dynamics walker, the bipedal stuff. All right, but let's not forget where we came from. Let's refresh ourselves on what our one minute experience was like in our five minutes and I uh, see a direct side-by-side -side comparison here. So here is our one minute walker. This pathetic little thing literally looks like it is trying to survive and fight for its life as it drags itself just across the ground like it's just been injured in battle and it's trying to recede to safety. Um, so that's, that's about as good as one minute's gonna get you. Um, and then this was five minutes. It actually feels like a walker. Like this is something, you know, a super basic, not the smoothest ride. If uh, if there were walkers in World War II, this would be like what you would see. And then once we get to like the modern warfare walker, then we start getting to this thing. And yeah, I gotta be honest, something about this is actually, it feels more intimidating. This looks like it is walking with purpose. It really looks like it's like, it's stomping its way down and it means business. This kind of, this feels like it's frolicking. This feels like it should be in a field of flowers. It's not the most intimidating thing to see walking, but as far as the ride goes, this is the luxury experience right here. Look at this. Oh, we gotta do first person. Like, this is the first person experience. It feels smooth. It feels nice. I mean, things get a little wonky on the turns, but once we straighten back out, you can just see that ride smoothens right out. Yeah, so nice. Contrast that with the first person experience on the five minute walker. Like you see, definitely you notice it just goes up and down a little bit more. It still doesn't feel that bad though. And what is the first person experience like on this thing? I, I honestly don't even know what to expect with this. Oh, okay, you know what I have to do though? I gotta do strict follow cam. <laughs> That's when you can really feel it. This is just terrible. I wanna go back to my, uh, my pride and joy here. The 30 minute walker. Oh, a little bit of a rough start, but it smoothens out. We're good. All right, well, in case you weren't aware, this is not the first of the one five 30 minute builds things that I've done. This is actually a whole series. And if you want to see any more of those series, you can find them on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.